Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to start. Welcome to the Brooklyn Family Support Service Advisory Council's grand opening and celebration of the fifth anniversary Advisory Council website. So you don't have to clap, you can just do this. We're doing this because this is how people who have hearing or have arthritis, it's a lot safer for our hands. So we want to welcome, yeah, we want to welcome everyone to our great moment here. But before we do that, we have housekeeping rules to make sure everyone, because we are doing, trying to make sure for timing as well. So what I'm going to be reminding everyone, uh, the main thing is Deborah's going to mention one piece. Please, everyone, today's a celebration. We are not doing any announcements this morning on the chat or today only. This is a celebration of our grand reopening. I know all your information is very important, but let's just focus on reopening, making sure this website has gotten stronger and better. Then we will let you know by the end of the meeting or by email to send us where and how to send us announcements. But for right now, please understand the chat is off for this event only. Again, I thank everybody for their support and understanding. Reminding everyone, everyone should be on mute at this time, which some of you already did. Uh, please remind yourselves that raise your hand is always available on your system if you're using the computer. If you're gonna use the computer, okay. Uh, if you're gonna use the computer, please make sure you go to your manager panel, which is number 12, where you see, click on that, and you will see a picture of a hand. Raise your hand, and we will see your name. But remind everyone, this is not a question and answer today. But you will get, I will be asking for questions when we give you the small tour of our website on that. Please make sure you raise your hand at all times, and that's including the phone people. Who runs on the phone, star six is to mute, and on mute, star nine to raise your hand. So please everyone, please follow these instructions very carefully. So we're gonna now proceed on our main agenda. We do have a lot of special guest stars and our agenda is right here. Joyce will be joining us in a half hour. She's running a little late, but we will move on. And Henry Najib, are you there with Angela Blades? Good morning. Henry. Henry, we see you and Angela. I'm, told, I'm very, well, Henry? I know you're on, but uh, as chairperson of the Brooklyn Family Support Advisory Council, before we do the, as you say, the cutting of the ribbon, I am taking this opportunity to thank Angela, Blake, Henry Nijimbi, Lucio Mezzi, Eileen Sapo, and the whole Brooklyn mm -hmm. CRO for their support and encouragement of the, this council to do this website. And anyway, you're off. You're uh, you're on. You're off the mute, so you can you can speak. You want to say a few words, Henry? Wait, make it loud. I can't hear. Henry, are you there? Henry Najib? Henry, you're you're not you're not on mute. You're off mute. You can speak. Okay. Does everyone hear me loud and clear? If you can hear us, raise your hand. Okay. Thank you. I Thank see thumbs. You. Thank you. I'm making sure I'm not losing my mind. You know what? We'll come back to Henry and Angela in, in a, a little few moments. A few moments. I also want us. I want to thank the full deck board of the Brooklyn Family Support Advisory Council. But there is one part, and I want to thank Lori Rosenfeld, first vice president, right. vice chair, second vice chair. Hello, Kevin. Deborah. Yes. Hi. Hi, it's Angela. Sorry, I'm having a little computer issues. I know. Can I just, you just stay on. I just Chris, want to. Chris, I can't hear anything. Uh, do we start yet? Uh, yes, I don't have any did. sound. Right. Can you just uh, hold on so I can finish doing the thank yous of, and that includes you and Angela? And then we need to speak. Okay. But I want to thank everybody. The full exec board, as I was saying, Lori Rosenfeld, first vice chair, Sharon Shields, second vice chair. Sandy Naper, our reporting secretary, Christopher Bright, our corresponding secretary, and, and chair of the outreach who does the website. Also, we want to thank Ms. Annanino, who's doing executive assistant by answering the phone, getting us the help we need, letting us know. But I also want to thank someone who I wish was here, but he couldn't be, Cal Pichetti, who was always supportive. 
I want to especially thank Angela Blake for encouraging us to, to us this council to go forward and do with the, the, the website. We thank you very much. And Henry, we want to thank you, Lucy, Eileen, and the rest of the Brooklyn DDR for all their help and support. And especially uh, in New York City and Albany. Thank you. Henry and Angela, you want to say a few words? Hello, guys. Are you okay? Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, I, can, I can hear you. Good. Can you, if you want to say, say anything. You want to say a few words? No, it's just I'm happy you got the website up and running again. I've had um, a lot of inquiries, so thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, Henry, Najib, do you want to say any few words? I think he's having speaker. Henry, you there? I can't hear you, but we'll come back to him. Okay. It just has a lot of sound in the background, but you know what? Let's move on to uh, our other speakers. And uh, let me move my screen. Why? I don't know why. But at least our screen will show us. Uh, we also have been welcomed with other guest stars. I know we have um, MTA families who also put some information ideas in. Is Donna Frederson here with us? I am, sorry. It takes a second to unmute. Hi, everybody. Hi, Donna. Happy thank celebration. You. Happy, happy new website. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for your help and support with Accessoroids. And sure, sure. Everybody wants to oh, look who just re popped in. All right, all right. Go ahead, Donna. Donna um, sure, sure. So, so as we all know, um, having a resource like this is so important. Um, and having a connection with you guys has always been important to the folks you serve, the families you serve. A lot of folks kind of um, uh, need a place to go if they have a question about Accessoride and they should know they can always reach out to you guys. They can always reach out to me uh, or my team and we'll try to help you navigate through the process of getting the service or using the service. So it's so, so important that we have those connections. So thanks, Chris. I always appreciate you and Deborah and Annie always supporting us and um, making sure we just helped somebody this morning you had sent to me this weekend. And I reached out to them, uh, to Sue Yellen, to help her with her sister. So we're always here, able to help. Um, so thank you. It's a great partnership. We're here to help. Thank, thank you, you, Donna. Uh, Reggie, I'm going to put you on just a minute before I do that. Henry just came on. Henry, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. And you, you want to say a few words? Um, I don't know who's on. It, uh, you know, I just came on, so I don't know what to say. I don't know who to direct it to. But I'm um, glad to see you all. I just came from the website. Yeah. I'll navigate it a little bit and see. Mm -hmm. It looks very um, intuitive, very easy to navigate the uh, different um you know uh parts of the sites you know the subcommittee the uh, all the committees that are on the website and information even have information on the COVID-19 so I think it's very well laid out uh, easy to navigate and looks nice congratulations thank you, thank you very much Henry and mm -hmm. we're very glad and we appreciate all the assistance and help that you and everyone have given us because that means a lot to us. If we just want to help you. We, we want to be able to advise us if you have the resources that you may need in this very difficult time of the world. Again, thank you. You're quite welcome. Thank you, Henry. Great. And Reggie, are you there now? I am here. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. morning. I'm here. Good morning. So I wanted to, can you hear me? Yes. yes. The whole house can hear okay. you. Very happy to hear you. Good morning, all. And uh, thank you, Deborah, Chris, and Annie. Um, echoing what uh, my good friend Donna says, um, it's a good collaboration. Um, we are here for the Reduce Fair program and assistance with the application and also um, um, adding value to the cards and customer service. So uh, Chris, thank you. The website looks great. I gave you my input 
and we'll take it from there. Good morning, Mom. Thank you, Reggie. This is Deborah. Reza, I want to thank you. It's because so many of our families needed the half their metric card and for other families who can work as senior family members. We do appreciate that you help us, but we also want to thank you as well as Donna, because when we give you feedback, you're also listening, and we appreciate that very much, because we want as many people to get the half fair metro card, senior card, as well as for accessorized. So we're very, very happy that you're one of our helpful partners. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Now, now, also, we do want to now just to let both of you guys know, uh, to everyone know, on our when you see some information, we have updated a lot of new things, new features on our website, and more will be coming up soon. The more things is, is the information out there to make sure it's up to date and some new tricks that will make it easier, stronger graphics, and we will tell you much more after. But I will make sure we'll we will be showing you much more surprises. Like I'm glad some of us are can actually test that as we speak on your cell phone. Try it out on your cell phones, which is still the same website, but you can try it on your cell phone. Some of you already tried it. We thank you. Still try it now because you don't realize you can get the information right into your emails faster than that. As well as getting the reduced rare forms and future Omni stuff as well. And soon much more stuff to come in. So let's move on to our, agen our quicker agenda, which we are on the wall today. Uh, did Joyce Levin come in yet? And I'm going to guess not yet, but she should be joining us because today is, you know, coming back from a three day weekend. But uh, whoever's making that lovely, uh, sounds like you're getting ready for fireworks, which it's a little too early right now. <laughs> a little too early. Yes. Uh, first of all, I know we are, we welcome with Jenny, Assemblywoman from Matilda's office. You're here, Jenny. I know I saw you because I saw you glowing in the dark. Where are you? Can you see me now? Let Good me morning, see. everybody. Congratulations again yes, in the new website. It has been a long time coming, as uh, everybody had been said. It's easy to navigate, all, a lot of information for our constituents, so thank you so much. Uh, as always, if there's anything that you guys need, please let us know. Uh, Jenny, this is Deb. Yes. Deb um, please send our, please thank Assemblyman Matilda Francis for all her help and support. We do appreciate she's a very great advocate. She isn't, in, she's not exactly my Assemblyman, but you know what? She reaches out to everyone who needs help, and we thank her for supporting the development of the disability community. And thank we'll you so thank you too, as her staff member, and who has to answer the phone call. We thank you all. I will do. She wishes she was here this morning, but yeah. she has a meeting. It's I'll okay. let her know. It's thanking you too. Well, at least you know I have to say that if we need representative staff to come in, we are welcome. We all, you're only every staff we say them come to the meetings, come to the things because you may don't realize we might get working together at this time in need. We need to work together with the coronavirus, and I know everyone will agree with me on that one. Thank you. Not a problem. Uh, if there's any other elected official representative did join us, because it's hard to keep track of everyone, because we have a lot of people on. Uh, let me just make sure, because I know. But we do have a message from uh, a couple of elected officials that couldn't be with us today, because they're A, at meetings. Um, and they're all saying the same thing. Congratulations on the website. They are, we will be definitely help and work together at this time of need, as this is from all different elected officials. I mentioned every name will be here until the next election well, season. The Brooklyn delegation from yes. city council, yes. state assembly, mm -hmm. state senator, and our, and I would even say citywide for the control of public advocate and even the mayor's office. Have, they have thanked us and our Congress. We thank you all. And uh, we also want to welcome Maria Mark, who also is a community person. She's a very excellent community, community. activist. Yes, Maria, and you I want to like, say a few words? We want to thank Maria. You there? Yeah, I just wanted to congratulate you guys. I know how hard you worked on this and just uh, five years of 
uh, you know, so much of the work and then you get to do everything and have this new site and it's just, it's wonderful, you know, so congratulations. I don't want to say for five more years because we don't want for five more years. We, uh, we want for 120 more years <laughs> and okay, more and more. And more. Well, let's hope I live that long. <laughs> and I get more people to help us. <laughs> at that point, it will just be in our minds. You know, okay. we have to just blink at that point and then we'll get to the website. Well, yeah, <laughs> that amount of time. But, but really the work that you do and, uh, you know, it, it means so much to so many people. Um, if it wasn't for you, your team, it, you know, every, everyone on your board, there would be a lot of people who really wouldn't be having any voice in any part of our government. So it's incredibly important what you do and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much, Maria. We thank you also for sending community updates for us because this way our family will need whatever help and you've been a wonderful help. So we want to thank you for your assistance and support. Yes, and it's been a lot of thank yous. A lot of people are really enjoying that stuff that you've been sending. But now the main thing is, is it is the favorite time for me to let me do my favorite part. But before I do that, Laurie Rosenfeld, I know you're there. Laurie, where are you? Do you want to say a few words as vice chair of the council? Where is she? Uh, I can see I'm her. here. What did you ask? Oh, I'll repeat. Would you like to say a few words? It's my first vice chair who's been very helpful and supportive for the last five years and more. So I want to thank you. What do you want to say something, my dear? It's your time now. Um, no, just... You know, at this website is, is, um, yeah, do you hear me? Yes, we do. The whole world oh. hear you. The I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still a I baby in this, in this realm, in this. Realm. No problem, but you're getting there. But, um, no, this website does help a lot of people. I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we're able to touch bases with all of these people. I, you know, Debbie and Chris, you guys are in touch with so many different people that, you know, from Congress people to, you know, parents to individuals to, I think it's just awesome that, you know, we can touch bases, that you guys, you know, um, touch bases. I'm glad that I'm part of the council. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, you know, I try to help where I can and, you know, but you guys are like, um, you know, I just think you guys are awesome. You know? Thank you, my dear. And you're also yeah, this website is, is really um, amazing, and I'm glad it's, it's up and running again. Uh, well, I'll say this for you guys. We never crashed. We just, it's just that it's, it's after five years or after a year or two years, you have to make sure that the software is up to date. And, you know, with new graphics coming up every year with new stuff, you got to make sure you're up to date. And you want to make sure your system is strong. So it only took me a month to do this. And I can tell you my hair is still growing a little <laughs> bit. So I know that's all that. that that's why. Yeah. It, but, mm -hmm. but I just, I also just real quick want to say, I love your shirt, Chris. My New York tough. I love it. That's what I'm wearing today. And yes. you know, I don't know. Yeah. Doing awesome. Masks? Whoa. Yeah. Yes. That's why I'm going to be I was tough. thinking that when I first saw it. Anyway, good luck, guys. We, we, you know, I'm glad we're up and running. Yes, oh, I am too. Oh, we are definitely going to be running because we have some new surprises. Are you ready for the surprise, Lori? Yes, let's go. <laughs> See, that's <the> magic <laughs> words. Okay, since this is a virtual, we don't have to use real scissors. Thank you. And you guys can laugh on this one. But you guys can use your fingers, like five fingers you have, and count to five. You can also, before you do that, you can all unmute yourselves and say it. So it'd be like a New Year's moment. Here. Okay, ready, everybody? Hold on. Everyone ready? Yeah. I only heard one person saying, yeah. No. We're ready, we're ready. Okay. I just love doing this. We ready. Okay. <laughs> we the fingers ready, but not yeah. me. Ready? Five, five, five four, 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 three, three, three two, 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 one, one. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Now I switch over. 
This is where it comes to slow moment, but guess what? It's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the new Brooklyn Family Support Service Advisory Council website. As you see, on the phone it's different, but on this computer it's a little more graphic. It has the Brooklyn Bridge. Wired it wider out. Wired out a little bit and colorful too. And as you see, picture tells you the welcome. Uh, and here's another new feature that we all have, ladies and gentlemen. We have now Twitter. That means you guys can join us on Twitter. You will find out when our meetings are as well there. Our Facebook group page, which is still available. We have been getting a lot of people, and I know Matilda's office has also joined us on that group page. Anyone can join us on that group page and put your information in there. I do check it. And it does explain what the council does, and it does give you still the menu information of what's on the main website page. But I'm not gonna go all the way down because we'll be here until next year. So I'm gonna give you guys the shorter way. Information is all here on this screen. But the main important thing is, and this is for Henry and Angela who love me on this, uh, OP, DDRO, Brooklyn DDRO slash OPLD's thing is right here. Coronavirus 19, subcommittees, joint meetings is available, and the homepage. And we are also assisting the Brooklyn DB Council. The chairperson, Joyce Levin, is apologizing. She hasn't been able to come on this morning. She's been stuck in meetings. Emergency. Emergency meetings, but we have great, we have, we've been doing the joint meetings because of COVID-19. Instead, and we know how busy everyone is helping, helping families in this borough. So that's why we decided to do the meetings together. And we don't want, we're very glad to help the Brooklyn DB Council so that their subcommittees are listed. We have to do the local government plan. We let you know what's going on, but it's there for everyone to use. And now, again, thank you now, for your call. Without now, me. also, just let everyone know, some of you have always asked me, how can I always get on Ring Central? Well, on the website, you can actually do it right from here, which you see my finger. I click on that, and don't worry, folks, I'm going back. You get the ID number, put it in there, join, bam, you're on the meeting. And, Even I can do it. And you saw I just went on there. Now I reversed it because the meeting ID number for the joint the joint council is here. That's not going to change. That will stay. And it does tell you with a new graphic we have is who is the speaker and a little background. And it has the same thing, the meeting ID number, the time, the information. It gives you guys a little more colorful. Okay, one moment. Just want everybody to know. Yes, the, one, the speaker for our next joint meeting is Winnie Schiff from IAC, but that building you see is the New York State Capitol in Albany. Yeah. So this is where, this is the joint meeting, and we are, with Joyce and Debbie, both agree, this will be on fourth Wednesdays, and so the coronavirus is back to normal. These are the dates that are coming up. They're available on the website. You will see the dates under here. And a picture will be popped up when the next closer meeting dates are. And the minutes and agenda will be available, which they're not available at this time because they're being worked on at this time. We still have time for our meetings. So this is the joint council and transportation, everything else is in the bottom. So hope everyone got a chance to see a sample of the website and more information will be available. We also have something that's brand new as well, which I'm going to go back to home page, which you see me I'm doing right now, is the home page. The home page, you can always click on here and you can always click that if you want to, but if you don't want to, you don't have to worry. Service openings will be available soon. Transportation, subcommittees, the roles of the councils, mayor's office, learning and slash advocate page. We have some new features information there. Events and training, Corona 19, all the elected officials information you can find who's your elected official or register for the board of election. City and state agencies, that's including CASA, Social Security, and all the HRA, which is part of Medicaid, CASA, all that information. Food stamps. Food stamps. Benefits. Well, we already said it twice. Yeah. 
and the DDR are also available. With the link, it's also the front door information is available there, which is there, and it has their logo as well. And all this information is available on the phone. And just letting everyone know that information could be updated, but only during the weekends. So it's easy to deal with traffic. Also, as you see, we also have the three care coordination, the care coordination agencies that do work in New York City, meaning Brooklyn, but New York City region. Yeah. And the locals, so people know that Brooklyn BDRO regional office is in Brooklyn. So everyone knows that we represent the Brooklyn. Other boroughs and other future things will be coming soon, and we will be doing some other information to update more information. But as I said before, it takes months. It took a month to make sure that everything is running at 100%. And we know there's certain typos and mis that possible mistakes. We will constantly refix and work on it and keep the program updated. We will work very hard. Mm -hmm. It says that we will do it on the weekend. Unless it's a complete emergency, we have to put it in, but that's going to be very rare. Yeah. Because it's a less traffic and much easier to work on weekends. And weekends are easier. So if agencies who are here today can pass the word, I will be mentioning this at the joint meeting. If you have an announcement, please email us, which is easier, which you see it up here on the advisory council email address at bfssac at yahoo.com. And that is the way to make it easier. Some of you have emailed me. I appreciate it. You can also send me the PDF version of it. It will be linked right onto it faster and quicker. Uh, but please make sure your PDF is up to date and has an attachment so I can just go one, two, three, boom, on and click right onto it. And I'm now going to take off the website for a moment and go back to the regular screen. If you guys have any questions, this is the time to please raise your hand so I can hear everyone's questions by, by voice. Uh, let me switch back to my screen. Okay, and let me make sure, because you know the screen changes back a different way, but it's okay. At least we're running on a beautiful schedule today. Yes, let me just make sure. Does anyone have any questions, or do I have to go up and down uh, asking? Joyce Levin, are you on? Okay. No. But let, okay, now I'm going to ask, does anyone have a question? Okay. Anyone? Okay. Everyone's crazy. I'm just kidding. Let, I'll start with the ladies first. But before I do everyone, uh, Henry, Angela, what do you think of the sample? Well, um... It looks, again, the, the navigation of the website looks good, except that uh, just one, one correction, though. My title on the website is, uh, should be the Care Coordination Support Liaison. It's that, there. That, well, that's not what the title is. Um, I think many people, that's something they look for. Um, they know that they have, when they have issues with care coordination, who to call, who to talk to. So that's, that's critical. Um, I don't think that is uh, on there on the website. I think I was giving family support supervisor or something. So make sure you add that in there. Right. I, write, I wrote it down. You're, uh, are you both or you want, which title do you want us to use? Care coordination support liaison. No problem. And I'm just going to double check here. So I'm just making sure. Other than that, everything else looks good. Coordination. Yeah, coordination. Support liaison. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I uh, got it, Henry. This will be fixed. Okay. You know what it is, Henry? It is actually, here's the funny part. You're listed, actually, I make you laugh. <laughs> You're listed twice, and I got that from the website. So <laughs> we got to okay. let OPWD know because I got that from them. Oh, okay. So 
I'm glad you're bringing that up because I knew you were, I was waiting for you to say that because someone owes me a dollar now. And, and I said, <laughs> Not to, me. no, no, up there. <laughs> Why I'm laughing because you're listed as, I said to them, why they just put his name one place and just put the titles that he is? Why you just call him Ultimate Henry? <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. But no, it's easy adjustment to do. That doesn't take long. You want me to do both? Both together so it's uh, they see that it's both? Because that's how OPW puts you down. So you want me to just consolidate it? I know, yeah, that's that's it, but this it's wrong, you know, it's this it's care court. They say enrollment because I, I you know, I don't really You're enroll, the one, right? enroll by the CCO. So what I actually do is when there's a problem with enrollment, mm -hmm. uh, I'm the liaison. So that's more representative of what I do than just saying enrollment. No, no, no. I was asking, do you want me all because they have you as a family support uh supervisor, do you want that on or not? That's what OPWD you put on. No, I'm uh, no change change that on your website. It's okay, the, okay, that's not right. a problem. No problem. No problem. That's easy because now you know understand. Titles are like, uh, like remind me of someone we used okay, to know. Okay, I have that written down. Yeah, we'll try to fix it later today or by Saturday. It'll be fixed. Okay. If that's it. Nothing but, else you but, saw. But I'll tell you this, Henry. Your name. Uh, your. Uh, the only thing I will remind is, is, and I did say this before, that's why, yeah, because he's listed twice. He's listed twice. I have to readjust it. Okay. I just have to, yeah, he's listed twice, and I'll just, okay. do, I'll just deal, with that, deal with that. That's an easy thing, because here's the problem. Henry, you're yeah. very famous. Henry, I hope they don't add you a third title, then we have to put three names on him. <laughs> it happened, you know. It happened. But that's an easy thing, so I'll just make sure. Please, I'll just pay. But your email and phone number is there. Okay. Yeah, so that's correct. Uh, Angela. I'm here. Uh, anything I need to add on your end? Um, I have not been through the whole website yet. So when I finish going through it all, I will um, get back to you. My my only thing, you just have to do a few um, corrections on your spelling or do your spell check. That's about it. Uh, Angela, I didn't hear you very clear. Can you, Henry, I didn't hear what you're saying. Henry? Yes. Did you say that? I didn't hear you too, because everyone was speaking at the same well, time. I was talking to Angela. We, we, we email you with those, uh, any, any other, anything, any adjustments, we'll email you too. Agree. And just to let everyone know, it, it's also because there is a new system called spell check. It's not, if it's getting programmed in, I have to match it from the website, the original website information they, what OPW gives us. So that's something needs to be, you know, work on because you know the web, their website's being updated too at the same time. I agree with both of you saying. All right. No, no, don't worry about that, Chris. We'll, we'll talk oh, about I'm not, no. No, trust me. I'm cool about it because it's called, you know, with them updating, we're updating. It takes, you know, it's going to take a time to get adjustments. You have to do adjustments. You can't be a thousand cent perfect. There is no thing that's perfect. Will, we will fix it. Yeah. But on this, I have it on my phone right now, Julie. Well, from from what I can see so far, it's a beautiful website, and um, I have families that have been waiting for you to open back up. From what I saw on the phone, it looked Yeah, yeah. Um, just let anyone know, Joyce is here. Hear me? Yes. Yes, but with um, Joyce Levin is on my cell phone because she's we're having trouble getting her on the website. At I mean, on in the meeting for Ring Central, can you assist Joyce? Joyce, by the speaker. Joyce, I'm going to put you on the speaker. You just got to speak loud. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to um, access the website from my computer, but I did see it on the phone, and it looks great. Um, and thank you to Chris for all your hard work on that. It really um, enhances what we're doing and helping to get the information out. So thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joyce. And just let everyone know, and I'm just, just to answer everyone's questions. Everyone's information that I put in is copy and paste. And that's something new that we're we'll going to be doing because, like an example, Henry, your information is listed twice. 
which you just gave me is the is one. I agree with you. Like, it, Joyce, if say you have some information you want me to uh, add, like for the next week, uh, say like there's a meeting coming up like in two or three weeks, I can add it in as soon as possible. Uh, we, uh, th I wasn't able to see the whole thing. You have the legislative event on there. The I'm going to. I was. The bar white. Yeah, and I'm trying to work on that. That's we have your bar white on. It's the it's the legislative. By borrow. By borrow that we're going to get on very soon. Yeah, I'm trying to get it on. Okay. And, uh, well, you and I can discuss that later because um, I'm trying to, I'm waiting for one piece. They told me to wait, so I'll talk to you later about it. Okay, okay. Yeah. But let me put, let me give Debbie this phone. I'm holding you the phone. Okay. Uh, by the way, Joyce, did you hear we were thanking you for your help and support? Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Uh, does anyone else want to add anything you want to say before? Anyone else before we end? Uh, hi, Chris. It's uh, it's Matthew with YI. Yes, I Matthew. just wanted to say it looks really good. So I will definitely be, um, you know, uh, sending. Um, I'll be referring to the Brooklyn families that call in to, to go on to your website. And, yeah. You know, it looks to be a chock full of information. Yes. And thank you, uh, Matthew, because right now I'm actually testing at what I'm doing is with the service openings piece is some of you guys can actually send me your attachments. Not now. Not you can email me, but I'm not going to be doing that until Friday because I have since the website is now just open. I have to let it run a little bit to give it exercise to make sure nothing goes wrong with it. So far, I've been running. I've been running testing with it in different ways: security procedure, virus protection system has to make sure it's up to date. So, everyone who wants to send me agency openings, as I said before, or any additional things you want me to correct please send me the email and tell me what you want me to put in. Then I can copy and paste. Like, Henry, your time, like, let's say someone else is, has a new, there's a new staff person you want me to put on the website. Uh, like somebody took over from Matthew instead, and he's the new Brooklyn liaison. You need to let, if you want me to put that information. The only way to do that is, needs to be typed in so I can copy, paste it in, and that's the brand new way to do it. So thank you, Matthew. Uh, does anyone else have any questions? Joyce, you have any questions? No, no. I look forward to seeing the whole thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we promise you will. We'll fix everything. Well, yeah. Well, Joyce, you can actually look at it on your phone, on your tablet. It's available on the website, and it does give you the agency opening. I mean, I'm sorry, the joint meeting dates, and ASCU has a picture of winning on it. So, and it's easy to get people to go on and get onto the Ring Central quicker there and get the mean ID number faster. Okay. So that's another one. Henry, you had a question? Because you popped up, that's why. No, I was just going to add that for now, you don't have the family support guide on there because we're still working on it. Um, so um, because of the COVID uh, emergency period, so many things have changed. Uh, some of them, uh, some of the information needs to be updated. Some may be not existing. So once we uh, sure of who's who and who's what is up and running, uh, we wanna, don't want to give you a guide that is outdated. But we'll give that information to Chris to put on the website. Thank you very much, Henry. We appreciate it because we don't want to give wrong information. We want to make sure we stay updated and following what guidelines you would like us to do. Thank you. We appreciate that. Does anyone else have any additional questions? Doris, Tom, do you have any Doris, questions? Can you sit, read? Is it easy to get on, Doris? Yeah, I um, want to congratulate you on having the up and running website. It looks like it'll be helpful to our families, and I wish you to continue to be able to help families and it uh, looked, you know, just from the brief tour, it looked comprehensive. I haven't used it yet. And I'll give you my feedback after I use it. 
Well, no problem. There's not. It, it should be more easier because you can actually in emergency. Yeah, it looks that, easy. It looks definitely easy because I've been on websites that, you know, I couldn't get to what I needed to know, and this looks very direct and easy. Um, and I, I'm glad you're saying that, Dolores, because you just, you, Dolores, I'm, I, we have one little surprise to everyone. On your phone, and I'll say, uh, even Henry can play with his phone too, as well as Angela, it's also part ADA accessible, means you can enlarge it with your hands. And you can actually, on your computer, you could enlarge it from your upper level tap on your computer. But there are times you don't have to do that all the time because part of the PDF new program link you can make an enlargement. So say you have trouble seeing it, it is programmed. And with everyone else's accessibility having trouble, can't see, but what have to hear, it is programmed to the wording automatically. Just like you'd want to ask Google Assistant saying, uh, how many minutes is from, from where I live in Brooklyn to Mass Square Garden? It, right. will, uh, it will give you the similar way, but that's more for the accessibility person who can't see, but can hear more. We're working very hard to keep this website as ADA accessible as possible. Mm -hmm. And we have asked, we have gotten assistance from the Mayor's Office of Persons with Disabilities, and I have to thank them for their help mm -hmm. so that both councils are able to serve people who have different forms of disabilities, not just developmental disabilities, so that we can be as helpful as possible. Right. Again, thank you, Doris. We but, appreciate but it thank, very much. Yes, and you can let Jackie know. Tell Jackie to play with it. Well, I, will, I will let them know. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Joyce, is there anything else you want to say? Are you there? Joyce? No, I'm here. I'm here. No, but thank you very much. Uh, I know everyone will get a lot of use out of this You're very welcome, Joyce, and we're also very glad that we're able to get the information for the Brooklyn DD Council on. We are, we will work with you later to fix, make sure that the five borough and any other uh, events we have, we're going to do will be listed on correctly. Yes, an events and training page. There is an events and training page that is also uh, new because with service openings, you don't want to mix that up because with any service openings, like say, somebody has an opening for uh, certain programs, we want to make sure they get that information. If there's a training, if people want to be want to know when trainings are coming up, not just for OPWDD, but agency trainings outside of OPWDD, those will be also joined in too. So there are informations will be available as more information comes to us and emailed us. So remind everyone always email us at the BFSSAC at yahoo.com. And if you see there's a mistake, and I'm going to repeat that, so I'm making sure Henry, you can hear me saying that loud and clear, and Angela, please email us. So therefore, and please tell me where it is, because if I don't know where it is, I just need to know so I can focus on that thing as soon as possible. And I need to know that it's so example. If there's a mistake, say, in the spelling of someone's name that you know we've spelt wrong or that a title or even a word is not, that, is not there that should be there, please let me know which part of the website you saw this. And by emailing us, then we're, it's easier to make a faster correction because we'll know where to go. So I'm asking, please. So like if it's on the first page, tell me. If it's in, in like openings or there's a meeting date issue, it's not the right date, tell me where in the website exactly you saw it. And that will make it a lot easier for us to do the correct and correction. Then, Thank you. And that's a way we can, I can do it faster if someone tells you where it is. So then I can do it as soon as possible. There is a way of doing it a little more quicker than usually. The people don't realize I can do, but I need to know. Uh, we've also been welcomed by another borrow from another end of the B line. Uh, and I'm going to unmute her. Tina Vale, are you there from the Bronx? 
Hi, how are you? I just wanted to say congratulations on your website. This is Tina Veal from the Bronx. My counterpart. Yeah, Tina, we can hear yeah. you. But, Tina, I don't think you need to speak so any louder on the phone because I think we all heard you from the other but end Tina, of the world. Did you? Tina, Very good. <laughs> Tina? I had looked at the website before, but I looked at it again. But I had a little problem with Ring Central, but that's okay. I got it on the phone, and I yes. saw the website. It's very good. Congratulations on your five years and your hard work. Thank you, Tina. We both okay. appreciate it, and I thank you because you know we, the two B boroughs, do work together. We're almost like sisters from another mother, right? That's right. All right. Yeah, Thank but, you so much, dear. But, but it's kind of funny. She's she's not far from the B train, and we're not far from the B train too. So that, that so we're like the B train without the Q train. <laughs> See, I got you all good in that one. Yeah. But Tina, again, we thank you for your help and support. Yes. And we hope everything's going well up there in the Bronx because of these crazy weather. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Now, does yeah. it now before I end? Does anyone else want to say something? You can unmute yourselves. Going once. Before I, you guys can unmute yourself. Let's see. No. Okay. Then on the then Deborah, you can go. Do. Okay, everybody. On behalf of the Brooklyn Families Court Service Advisory Council and also the Brooklyn DD Council, I am the secretary here. I want to thank everybody for their help and support and for coming to our grand reopening of this website. Again. Please, everyone, email us the information and let us know. Also, go on our Twitter page and our Facebook page. And we all thank you for all your help and support. Again, I like to say, please, everyone, stay safe and healthy in this time. Thank you. Everybody and have I, a great day. And Chris, what else you want to say? See you guys next week. See you in a couple of weeks. See you in see a couple, you, couple of weeks. See you, on the, see you by the 24th. So that we can have our joint meeting again. Yes, and Winnie will be our speaker discussing the budget. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And Joyce says thank you too, right, Joyce? Yes, thank you. All right. Everybody have a great safe day. Bye. Bye.